Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about the differences between fast pain and slow pain. Differences between slow pain pathway and fast pain pathway. Slow pain. The slow pain it is carried by paleospinothalamic pathway. Paleo spinothalamic pathway. It is carried by paleospinothalamic pathway. Paleo means old. It's a phylogenetically older pathway. The slow pain pathway is a phylogenetically older pathway. The slow pain pathway, the receptors involved are nociceptors. The receptors involved in this pathway are nociceptors. And here, the first order neurons are the axons of C fibers. The C fibers, axons of unmyelinated C fiber, they are the first order neuron. The first order neuron, they enter the spinal cord via this dorsal root into the dorsal greyhound. These fibers, they enter the dors uh, dorsal greyhound via the dorsal root. That's, the, how, that's how they enter the spinal cord. And these first order neurons, they synapse with the second order neuron. That is, they will enter the dorsal greyhound and here they synapse the second order neuron. This second order neuron. Here is the second order neuron. The second order neuron, it is beginning at this sub uh, substantia gelatinosa cells. Substantia, substantia gelatinosa cells. It is beginning at the substantia gelatinosa cells. And these fibers they cross to the opposite side and they occupy the lateral white funiculus. Lateral white funiculus and these fibers they ascend upwards. As it ascends upwards and when it is reaching the brain stem region, it will give rise to collaterals. It's give rise to three collaterals mainly. It will give rise to a collateral to the hypothalamus, to the pre aqueductal gray nucleus, and the reticular formation. That is, when it is giving collaterals to these three different nuclear groups, it will give rise to certain pathways. And when it is pathway is given to the, by the reticular formation, it is the spino reticulothalamic pathway. Now, after giving the collateral to so all these, some of the fibers, they will go upwards and they will terminate in this non-specific nuclei which is uh, located in the medial side and uh, the, uh, they will synapse with the third order neurons. They will terminate, uh, synapse with the third order neuron and this third order neurons are rising from this non-specific nuclei of thalamus and finally they will terminate in the cortex. That particular area is the area number 312 of the cortex. The features of slow pain is that the slow pain is poorly localized. Slow pain is poorly localized. Slow pain is poorly localized. Means this pain actually originates from a particular visceral organ or present a hollow muscle structure and it radiates to some other somatic structure and we can't exactly tell where the pain is arising from and Another particular feature is that this pathway it keeps a patient or a person awake and alert. Means the person is aware of uh, the surrounding, he is alert because of the stimulation of particular nuclear group that is the reticular formation. Here in this uh, paleospinothalamic pathway, this reticular formation is activated and because of this, this person he stays alert or awake. Next is the fast pain pathway. Fast pain pathway is also called Neospinothalamic pathway. Neospinothalamic pathway. Neo means new. And this fast pain pathway, it is most developed in the primates. Fast pain pathway is most developed in primates. Here, the receptors are nociceptors or the free nerve endings. Nociceptors are the free nerve endings are the particular receptors here. And this fast pain pathway, the first order neurons here are the A delta fibers. First order neurons are the A delta fibers. This A delta fiber, just like the C fibers, they enter the spinal cord via the dorsal root into the dorsal gray horn and uh, they will terminate in the laminate 2 and 4. And they, they terminate in laminate 2 and 4, they also synapse with the second order neurons. The second order neurons arise from the axons of marginal nucleus. Here the second order neuron arise from the axons of marginal nucleus. Axons of marginal nucleus. 
second order neurons are arising on the axons of marginal nucleus and these fibers also go to the opposite side ascend upwards in the lateral white funiculus but the fibers they do not give rise to collaterals like the paleospinothalamic pathway instead it will go upwards and the second order neuron they terminate in the ventroposterior lateral nucleus of the thalamus second order neuron the fibers terminate in the ventroposterior lateral nucleus of thalamus and from the ventroposterior lateral nucleus of thalamus third order neurons arise and they terminate in the area number 312 of the cortex fibers determined in the area number 312 of cortex. The features of this fast pain pathway or the neospinothalamic pathway is localization and interpretation of pain quality. Interpretation of pain quality. What is the difference between fast pain and slow pain? Fast pain comes from skin and subcutaneous tissue fast pain is coming from the skin and other subcutaneous tissue slow pain comes from the muscle um, visceral organs etc now this fast pain is well localized fast pain is well localized whereas the slow pain is poorly localized the fast pain arises abruptly it arises abruptly whereas slow pain just like the name suggests this pain arises slowly fast pain it is conducted by a delta fibers a delta fibers are in the conduction slow pain is conducted by unmyelinated c fibers slow pain is conducted by unmyelinated c fibers in the fast pain pathway the neurotransmitter involved is glutamate neurotransmitter involved in the fast pain pathway is glutamate in the slow pain pathway neurotransmitter involved is substance p in the fast pain pathway uh, as well as the slow pain pathway there is projection to the cortex area number 312 but here in the fast pain pathway it only projects to thalamus and the uh, cortex only there is projection only to the thalamus and cortex whereas in the slow pain pathway it projects to the cortex, it projects to the non-specific nucleus of thalamus, it projects to the hypothalamus, the pre-equiductal gray nucleus, as well as reticular formation. This fast pain, it is carried by neospinothalamic tract. It is carried by neospinothalamic tract whereas slow pain is carried by paleospinothalamic tract then this fast pain is a sharp pricking pain sharp pricking pain whereas slow pain is a burning or aching pain Slow pain is a burning or aching pain, whereas fast pain is a sharp pricking pain. That's why it, is, it arises very fastly and you can easily localize where exactly the pain is coming from. Whereas in slow pain, it's a burning or an aching pain. So that's it for today. Thank you.